St. Jude runners, you know what time it is. It's time for another review. This time I'm following up on my previous unboxing of the Roka Maverick Pro 2 wetsuit. This time I'm going to give my thoughts and feelings on my use as I've been using it for open water swimming as I train for the Memphis 70.3 triathlon coming up in October. Join me right after this. Alright, thanks again for coming back to the channel and joining me. If you like my reviews or want some more information on these, give me a thumbs up and put a comment in the comments below. Let me know if you have any questions or want to see any other reviews. So as I said in the intro, I'm going to be reviewing my Roka Maverick Pro 2 uh, sleeveless wetsuit. I unboxed this previously. You can check that out up at the top of this screen. I put a link to that. I picked this up for less than $200. It regularly runs about $350. Uh, it goes from an extra small to, I believe, a 2XL. Um, I've been using this in my open water swims. Uh, I've been getting a lot of those in um, as I train for the Memphis uh, St. Jude 70.3 that is going to be hopefully held in October. And so as I am practicing for that, uh, I bought one of these just in case it was So, without further ado, here comes the review. So, inside this mesh bag, um, it did come, uh, when I ordered this, if you check out the unboxing, it did come with a swim cap, a black swim cap. I have not yet worn that, so I'll give a review of that later on. Um, but it comes with this nice mesh bag. I do lay this out in the back seat of my truck um, as a way to dry out and get some of the sand off. very warm when you're in the water. So uh, some little bits of, of information on it. Uh, this rash guard on the back where it covers up the zipper, uh, you really need to make sure when you're zipping this up that it actually covers that and doesn't come up on the back part of your neck uh, and it can, that can lead to some chafing. So uh, with this, the only place I've really had chafing is a, I had a little bit under my arm and a little bit on the back side of my neck when um, I didn't have my hair cut it as short um, and so I resolved that with some squirrels up butter on there and that resolved the situation so um, as you can see on the front of it it has these buoyancy panels that go along the front that help keep you nice and buoyant um, the I, I chose the sleeveless version over the sleeve version um, because I like to have my arms like kind of a bigger guy I like to be able to have the freedom to move my arms about so um, I don't have any problems with this one. Um, it does have a lot of buoyancy to it. Um, it is easy to get on and off with practice. It does have these um, kind of expansion areas along the heel um, or the bottom part of, of your leg. And so it gives it a little bit of stretch so it's easier to get on and off. You just need to make sure that you put uh, some lubricant there, body glide or something along those lines. Squirrel snut butter works great right along my ankles and then I can slide right in, pull these up. Um, you do have to work to get them up your legs when you're on dry land and they're fun to get off when you're, um, after you've been wet. So the only problem I've had with these is I did snag it with my nail right there. And so it's got a little bit of a nail tear. I have been trying to just get it with the pads of my fingers whenever I'm putting it off and on. Um, so opening this up, the zipper is kind of fun to get on and off. Uh, there is a place, that Velcro right there, there's a Velcro tab at the bottom and you can stick that on so it's easier to reach back, grab, and then pull down and zip. Um, they say on the website you should have somebody help you um, to Velcro this up or to zip it up and Velcro it. I have not had that problem with it. It takes a little bit of effort to get it in the right spot so the zipper comes together before you pull it. So, um, the only issues I've really had other than
instructions and the ROCA and who it belongs to on the inside all came off. Um, you can still kind of see the instructions there, but the white um, covering all came off. It all flaked off. I have not washed this other than with fresh water to get some of the sand off of it. Um, so that was kind of interesting to me that that came off. Um, luckily, I can still read it for the most part and the care instructions. On the inside, the neoprene is really nice. The seams are pretty flat. I haven't had any chafing issues. Upside down, on the wall. It's going to run uh, with that. They still get their red paint out there, which is kind of cool. Um, at least for them. So uh, these dry fairly quickly, are easy to get on and off. Um, I put it in the back seat of my truck, I have rubber floor mats back there, and after a day we have like this, so less than a day it dries out, and I can fold it up. Pretty easy. The, none of the outside uh, details have come off, uh, so we haven't really had a flaking issue with the, any of the decals and stuff. They're still on there, um, other than the ones that are you know, on the inside. And I don't know if that's regulated uh, so that you can stay warm and it also helps you be quite buoyant in the water um, without being overly so. I do like the bag. I haven't used it all that much except to transport the wetsuit to and from um, practice. So I'm going to do it. So I'm um, going to continue getting ready and out of swim. I've been using this uh, combined with the body ink. to do as a, as a triathlon top and so um, that's going to be kind of it. Um, I did get to purchase a new a new to me bike and I will be bringing that on and showing you that as soon as I get it and get it set up. Um, so that'll be a cool review. Um, I do also have my other bike, my road bike, road bike again and Dale Slate will be coming back out of the shop here in the next couple of days so I can use that for this upcoming triathlon that is happening this weekend. So I plan on wearing my um, my helmet that I recently got and reviewed here on the channel, uh, my Boost helmet, and I plan on uh, using my normal five fingers uh, shoes that I run in that I have done numerous reviews for, and you can check those out on my reviews as well. So thanks again for joining me here on the St. Jude Runner channel. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them down below. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to help me produce some more reviews and unboxings. And you can check out some travels if you want to go and visit some places without leaving your home. I video a lot of my travels in 360 videos, so you can check those out as well. Thanks again once again for joining me, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and go and get your miles in.